Okay, we got to take a few minutes and talk about the brush tools, brush modes. There's a handful of different modes or methods that the brush tool can make use of. And this is very, very different, by the way, from any other drawing application. Flash is really kind of doing its own thing. It's in its own world here as far as this is concerned. So if you're coming from another application, like maybe Illustrator, and you're thinking that Flash is going to behave like Illustrator, again, this is really weird, wacky behavior. Let me show you this. I'm going to try and demonstrate as many of these as I can here for you to give you a sense of how they work, and then I'll leave it up to you to experiment more. So obviously, as you can see here, I've gone and removed everything from the canvas, from the Flash stage. The other thing that I did too, by the way, is I went and changed my brush size to about a mid brush size there, and I went all the way back to the default brush nib, which is just that round guy right up at the top. Now, the brush modes, by the way, are these guys right here. And as I say, there's, there's a handful of them here. There's paint normal, there's paint fills, paint behind, paint selection, and paint inside. As a matter of fact, give me two seconds because this whole toolbox flyout thing is driving me crazy. So there we go. Now mine are all the way down at the bottom. So at this point, we've been working with paint normal. And as we've seen, it's a very normal paint behavior. It's going to apply no special effects or no special treatment to our paintbrush. We can paint on the empty canvas. We can paint on top of strokes. We can also paint on top of other fills, right? So what I now want to do, though, is I want to demonstrate to you the next guy down, which is paint fills. So give me just a moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my pencil tool, this fella right here, and maybe what I'll do is I'll change my stroke color, maybe to a, a blue. There we go. And what I'll do here is I'm just going to draw out a quick series of lines, maybe something like this. Now, if you're watching here, you may want to just sort of sit back and, and enjoy the show. You can follow along if you want. You're more than welcome. but you know, at this point in time, you might want to just kind of kick back and watch what I'm doing here. I'm going to flip back over to the brush tool now. And the brush tool, just so you know, is still on paint normal. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sort of paint some extra, you know, lines in here, you know, maybe something like this. So the green lines are fills and the blue lines are strokes created with the pencil tool. And now what I'll do is I'll show you this paint fills. So I'm going to switch over now to the paint fills modifier or the paint fills mode, if you will. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and change my fill color. I'm going to switch over to red now. So the red brush strokes are now being used with this paint fills modifier. So if I start, you know, scribbling lines right across all of my work, as soon as I let go of my mouse, check that out. Only the brush strokes that were created with the paintbrush get filled in. All of the strokes that were created with the pencil tool, the actual strokes are left intact. Isn't that bizarre? So in other words, this modifier, this brush mode called paint fills is going to do exactly that. It's only going to paint in fills that we've created. It's quite bizarre. So anyway, there you go. Again, completely unique to Flash. Now, let me show you this here. I'm going to show you the paint behind. I'm going to go ahead and select everything and tap the delete key on my keyboard. And what I'll do is I'll show you this paint behind. First of all, what I'll do is I'll switch my mode back to paint normal. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of scribble in an area here, just sort of some kind of a rough, you know, fill. It's kind of gnarly. But anyway, this is really more for demonstrating here for you. So maybe something like this, right? All right, there we go. What I'll do is I'll change my fill color once again. Maybe I'll switch over to maybe sort of a sort of a dark green, maybe something like that. And from my brush mode modifier now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say paint behind. So I'm going to go ahead and select this modifier now, paint behind. And what happens now is if I start painting over top of a fill or a stroke or any other kind of content or object that I might have on my screen with this paint behind modifier selected, what happens is that fill that I've just painted in gets moved all the way behind any existing objects. Kind of weird, kind of bizarre. I really struggle, even though I've been using Flash for years and years and years, I really struggle to find where this would be handy. I don't know, maybe you can think up of some different situations of where this would be handy. So anyway, I hope that works for you. Anyway, I'm going to go and select everything. Now, 
The next option that we have here, the next modifier, sorry, is called paint selection. We haven't really talked about selections yet. And of course, to demonstrate the paint selection, we need a selection. Now, this is going to be kind of a lame example here, but Really, a much better example would be if we had all kinds of different objects on our stage and we selected just one object and then used paint selection. What I've done here is I hit Control or Command A to select all. And now what's going to happen is only the selection is going to get painted. Again, not the greatest example, but I'll show you how this is going to work anyway. I'm going to go and change my fill color. I've already used red. Give me a second here. I'll use sort of this pinkish color. And now if I start coloring in with this paint selections modifier activated. This is the result that I get. Only the selection gets painted in. The canvas does not get painted in. The white area behind does not get filled in. Only the selected area. So if I grab my black arrow tool and deselect, you can see only selected areas got filled in, which is kind of neat. But again, I have a tough time figuring where we would actually apply this in the real world. But anyway, hey, it's there. You can make use of it. So why not? All right, I'm going to go ahead and select all and then delete. And let's see, I think we only have one left. I'm going to go back to my brush tool, back down to my mode modifier. Yes, we have paint inside. What's this guy all about? This guy's kind of like, I think of this as smart coloring. Check this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my pencil tool and maybe I'll set my stroke color back to black on my pencil tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out or attempt to draw out a rectangle, maybe something like this. All right, there we go. All right, voila, rectangle. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the brush tool and because I'm not a fan of pink, I'm gonna switch my fill color maybe to a blue or maybe to a red or something like this. And then I'll switch that mode modifier to paint inside. Now how this works is if I begin painting inside a shape, Flash will only let the fill color appear inside that shape. So. You know, I start coloring in like this a little bit and I kind of go outside the lines a little bit because, you know, I'm drinking my coffee with the other hand and not really paying attention and, you know, answering an email and all this kind of stuff. Let go with my mouse. And then what happens is any fill that sort of fell outside of the shape gets cut off. Now, in order for this to work, you have to start inside the shape. I have to make sure that I'm coloring inside the shape first. That tells flash the area that I'm drawing inside or filling inside, I should say. And then, of course, any content, any material that falls outside of that object gets cut off. If I start on the outside of the object and I work my way into the object, something like this, and then let go with my mouse, the fill that appeared on the inside gets cut off because flash thinks I'm drawing in the empty area that is the canvas on the outside of the object, something like that. So again, I think of this as smart coloring. But I really have to be honest, though, again, I really have a tough time figuring out where I would actually use this. Maybe once in a blue moon, it comes up for me. Hey, if there were only a way that Flash would prevent me from drawing outside of, a, of an object or, or painting behind an object or painting a selection. Anyway, you have them there, the mode modifiers. You can definitely make use of them. But nine times out of 10, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, I'm sticking with the paint normal option.